Hello online crew, how are we? Today we're going to talk about Facebook advertising. Do you really know what you're doing with Facebook advertising? Do you understand everything you need to know about Facebook under, um, you know, advertising? Do you know the metrics? Do you know all the moving parts? Do you understand what they mean? Even if you're not doing Facebook advertising yet, Let's have a discussion around this because at some stage in your business, you might want to move into doing Facebook advertising. Um, so we want to forewarn you on how to do that the right way and some of the advantages and disadvantages of what it can bring you in your business. So we'll have a little discussion around that. So that's what we're going to concentrate on on today's live. I'm smiling, I'm happy, I'm back after yesterday's live. If you missed yesterday's vibe, yesterday's live, it was a little bit of a different vibe. You'll be happy to know those that watched yesterday's live that my headache is gone, I'm feeling good. I think I had almost seven hours sleep last night, which is a lot for me. So yeah, I'm kicking goals again, guys. I would like to say an absolute um, you know, I've still got to go back from the comments from yesterday's live. I'm just non-stop at the moment, but um, so much gratitude for some of the messages I got after yesterday's live, some of you that can relate to what I was saying, situations that you've been through. I just really, really appreciate your concern and beautiful thoughts. Um, you're just amazing. This community here is amazing. So I'll say hello to you as some of you in a second. If you're new here and we've not met before, my name is Helen Martin. It's right there. <laughs> and I'm your online crew captain. So I'm of service to our awesome online crew community here, which is entrepreneurs, home-based business owners, direct sellers, those in network marketing, MLM. And we're learning how to use attraction marketing to grow our business online. Now, some of you will be doing that through various um, you know, forms of social media. Some of you will be doing it organically. Some of you will be doing it through paid advertising. Some of you might want to learn how to do paid advertising. You're all a little bit different doing different things. So it's not a one size fits all. Social media moves very, very, um, very fast. So you guys need to kind of try to keep up with what's going on, not only in social media, but if you are doing Facebook advertising, um, you know, all the moving parts with Facebook advertising and things are changing all the time. So if you're doing the same thing you were taught six months ago, you'll probably get yourself into trouble because things move quickly. And particularly in our industry, our Facebook advertising is something you have to have a high level of skill around because Facebook doesn't like us. Facebook doesn't like this industry as far as advertising goes. And I would also say you need to have a lot of foundational things in place before you're going to be successful with Facebook advertising. So I'll get into that discussion in a moment. Who do we have on here today? And I'm smiling, I'm happy, it's all good, no tears today. But thank you for those that were on yesterday and listened to my thoughts and, you know, for your concern as well. It's just beautiful. So we have Gloria in the house. How are you? We've got Anya. How are you? Uh, somewhat. <laughs> that must be to do with the Facebook advertising. Hello, Mel. How are you? Hello, Tanya. Good to see you on. We've got Dal. We've got Jonah. We've got David Thomas. Oh my gosh, you're still around. I haven't spoken to you forever. Miss you, David. Um, we used to have mentoring calls together and uh, yeah, great guy. Hello, Heather. How are you? Thank you for saying hello to Henry. Henry is right here with me. If you're not aware, Henry is my little fish over here. He's my little messenger bot when I plug him in. I haven't got him plugged in today, so he gets a little rest. We've got Charlene. Hello, Edith. Edith, did you hear me talking about you yesterday? Have you watched yesterday's, was it yesterday's live or was it in the video challenge group? Maybe it was in the video challenge group. I don't know. I go live everywhere, so I'm not sure. But I was talking about you yesterday anyway, Edith. Uh, trying to learn as much as I can. That's good to hear because you need to. You can't walk into Facebook advertising not knowing, you know, just slapping an ad up and see how it goes and just, you know, uh, leave it, leave it, leave it. Just let it run, let it run. No, 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 no. You need to know how to read your numbers, guys. Uh, so if anyone's coming up like that, Facebook user, 
trying, you know, and we can't see who you are. That's because you're watching from my free group. So I'm broadcasting in two areas from my business page and my free group. Social media strategies for home business owners is my free group. So anybody is able to join that. So when you're in the group, because it's a group and it's not public, you need to let StreamYard know, which is the piece of software that I'm using. Uh, you need to just click on the link at the bottom of the description up above in the group. You won't see it on the business page because the business page is public and I can see who you are. Just click on the link once. You only need to do it once and then I'm able to see who you are, okay? Bit of love for Edith there. Charlene, we've got, is that JIT? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, Anya, very sad yesterday. It was, um, but you know, just sometimes you just need to get it off your chest. Honestly, guys. Hey, Cindy, how are you? I could not just those of you that were on my yesterday live yesterday. I couldn't stop crying all day. Just somebody would send me a message and it would trigger me again. And I'd cry. I just, I think sometimes. Um, you just need to let it out. And it wasn't that I was really down or anything. I just felt sad and had a blind headache and I just needed to let it out. And I think I'm better off for it. Um, you know, and I remind myself, um, I've shared this many times in my community, but some of you may not have heard it. I think it's, uh, it's, it's over there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me grab it. Where is it? Uh, here it is before all my books go falling in the, if you hear a crash, it's because all my books are um, falling on the floor. Intentional Living by John Maxwell. So John Maxwell shared on stage, uh, I was in Orlando um, a couple of years ago, I think it was, and he shared from stage like, you know, shit's going to happen basically, bad things are going to happen in your life, it's just life. It's how we handle it that's most important and I, I shared that with you guys quite often. But something that's always stuck with me with him is um, allow yourself to do and feel whatever you need to for 24 hours. And then um, after that, if you're wallowing in something or you're feeling like you're a victim to something, you're actually choosing it. So it doesn't mean that we can't grieve and those kind of things. But if we feel a victim to something or we're down in the dumps or we can't get out of bed because we're so upset, we're actually choosing that behavior. It's not just happening. We're choosing that behavior. So things are going to happen around us that we don't like, but um, if you can't change it, you can't change it and you, we need to change our perspective. So what he's always said is do what you need to do for 24 hours and then refocus. Refocus on what's important. Refocus on the things that you can change, the impact that you can make, the positivity that you can share, those kind of things. So we don't want to sit in really negative emotions, um, you know, for more than 24 hours. So a good piece of advice from John Maxwell there. Um, Heather, good to hear you that you are so much better. I'm just thankful, incredibly grateful that my, do, do any of you guys suffer from migraines? I've been a migraine sufferer most of my life. I generally know how to control them now, but they're, ter they're terrible things. They're, they're really debilitating. Hey, Matt, how are you? Listening while working. Oh, don't tell anybody that Matt's listening. <laughs> Hello, Lynn. Lovely to see you on. We've got Janet. We've got Linda. Susan is here. Hello, good to see you on. We've got Jackie, um, Amalia, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, another one where we can't see your name, so but from Florida. Um, so just click on the link, StreamYard link. We've got Leslie, Mary, we've got Edith with all the emojis. If you don't know what they are, the fish emoji is for the free group. The palm tree is just our general community. The cruise ship is for those legends in my online crew coaching community and the anchor is for life members of my online crew coaching community. So that's what all those um, emojis mean. Miss you. We, we need to catch up. We do. I do. We do. I miss your calls. Hey, Cindy, beautiful Hella Martin and Henry. You are inspirational to all of us. Oh, I'm glad to glad to um, hear that. Thank you very much. Tashi, checking. Does that mean you gave StreamYard permission and we can see you? So if that's what you've done, we can see you. Hey, Marcella. Um, Edith, no, I'm, oh, I can't remember which video it was, Edith. You, um, it may have been the video. I can't remember. Can't remember. Anyway, before I get onto this topic of Facebook advertising, so just bear with me and hang around. There's a couple of things um, I wanted to just uh, say first. One, I've already said it. <laughs> I'm just looking down at my notes. It's just a thank you to everybody that um, supported me on yesterday's live. The second thing is. Um, 
the the training on social media enroller, which a lot of you have accessed, and I would highly recommend those of you that haven't, click on the link above, the first link above, and see what it's all about. Because particularly for this discussion today, if you're doing Facebook advertising, but you don't have the foundation and your ecosystem of your personal page, your business page and groups, if you use them, then your Facebook ads are probably not going to work as well as they could could do. Okay. So that training is still available for a few more days. It's the Black Friday uh, promo that just never ends. <laughs> That's beyond my control. Um, I'm not actually running it, but it is raising money for charity. So those of you that have missed out on it, if you want to learn how to attract people to you online and learn how to be, build a team online, have a look at that link above and see if you know access uh, that training. But I want to say this because I've got so many messages about this. Those of you that access the training, none of you know how to access the replay. <laughs> so here it is, okay? The training was four hours long, gutsy training. And congratulations to those of you that got it because you're helping raising money for families in poverty. So good on you. I contributed myself. I had to pay for the training myself. The recording, you got login details for a website connected to a mentorship company that's got over 100,000 followers on Facebook. It's a mentorship company for network marketers, online marketers, direct sellers, those kind of people. So they're the ones coordinating the training. They gave you a login details for a website. So you need to log into that website. You need to go to the products tab. Just there's a products tab in the banner up the top. And when you click on the products tab, you'll see the training and the replay is there. Okay. So let me say that one more time. Those of you that got the training, congratulations, you're awesome. And you've helped contribute to poverty, uh, families in poverty. And the recording, which you can still access for another few days and go into the running to win lifetime membership to my coaching community. That's first prize. Second prize is a coaching call with me and a month's access into my coaching community. Third prize is a month's access into my coaching community. If you're already in my coaching community, I'll work out something different for you. Okay. Um, so use your login details to get into your Elite Marketing Pro website, which is the mentorship company that's giving you all the bonuses. So take advantage of all those bonuses. So get into the website, go to the products tab, find the recording and watch it, okay? I've had so many messages about that. So that's how you access it, okay? All right, that's, I just wanted to remind you of that. So you can still get the access to that recording of that training, but only for a few more days at that discounted rate and helping raise money for charity, okay? Highly, highly, highly recommend it if you haven't got your foundation sorted out yet. So your personal profile, do you know what you're doing or should, you know, not doing your business page, how you set that up and should you be using groups and all the rest of it. So let's say you've all got that sorted out or working towards getting that all sorted out. Let's talk about Facebook advertising. So some of you may be doing it, trying to do it. Maybe some of you have even been shut down um, from doing it. Largely, that's because maybe you don't have the appropriate skill level to do it. And it is not something you want to muck around with unless you've got a skill level around it. It's too dangerous, guys. It's your money. It's, you know, you throw 10, 20, 30, 40, $50 a day at a Facebook ad and you just get told, lead it, let it run, let it do its thing. And you don't really know how to evaluate whether it's working for you or not. Um, really, really dangerous. And you can waste hundreds of dollars, of, you know, a, a week potentially even thousands of dollars over a number of weeks into a Facebook ad that was never going to work because your targeting's off, your audience is off, your ad copy's off, your actual funnel is going to something that Facebook doesn't like. Like there's so many variables that can be really effective for you unless you've got the right skill around it. So let's just concentrate for a second on the good things about Facebook advertising and why you want to do it, obviously. And the main reason is that you can scale. So when you do Facebook ads, you can scale, you can go out to the cold audience, you can get, um, you know, highly targeted people, you can get your pre-qualified, um, perfect pre-qualified prospects to opt into your funnel and they've already put up their hand and said, yeah, I want to know a little bit more about this. 
perfect. That's so much better than just walking up to somebody in the street and going, do you want to have a look at my business? <laughs> so you can get that targeting in Facebook ads. You can scale. You can go out to millions of people and put your ad in front of them. And if they're interested in what you've got, then, you know, that's when we're going out to the cold audience and it can be really, really effective. There are different objectives in Facebook advertising for different purposes, from video views ads to engagement ads to traffic ads to conversion ads, everything in between. And when you understand all the objectives of the ads and what they do and the purpose of them and how to set them up, you can be really laser focused in setting up your Facebook advertising. But do you know all the different objectives of the Facebook ads or are you just going straight to a conversion ad, whacking something up because you got a little bit of a training and fingers crossed hoping it's worked? And then weeks and weeks later, you spent hundreds of dollars not knowing what you did wrong because you didn't know what you were doing in the first place. Please don't do that. Guys, you're smarter than that or you should be smarter than that. OK, this is not something you want to muck around with. I didn't realize the skill it takes to be really good at Facebook advertising until I started doing it myself. And I remember about five months into my online journey that I'd been doing ads and I had a mentor. I invested in a mentor. All of you should to some capacity. If you already knew the skills, you'd already be successful. So if you're not successful already, then recognize that you need to learn new skills and get somebody to help you potentially. So I'm five months in, I'm doing everything in the training that I've been told to do and my ads are still not working. And I'm crying on my mentor call uh, with my mentor going, I'm doing everything that you taught me to do and it's, it's just not working. And you can be doing everything right and it still cannot work and you just need to learn. Test it, evaluate, test it, evaluate, test different audiences, different, test, test different words, test different stories, test a different funnel. Um, it's all about testing and evaluating until you work out what's going to work for you. But there's lots and lots of different moving parts, okay, and you need to be able to learn and know your numbers and those kind of things. So there's huge advantages to Facebook advertising. The most one being that you can scale and you can get pre-qualified leads. But you might be getting leads, but are they high quality leads or are they just clickers? There's so many clickers out there on Facebook. And what I mean by a clicker is it's easy for somebody to click on something and oh, I'll see what this is about and give, give you their email address potentially. But it doesn't mean they're ever going to buy off you if they're a low quality lead. Do you know, even know how to find high quality leads? So maybe you don't know that either. So there's huge advantages with Facebook ads, but there's also a lot of things that you need to know. So one, do you know what different objectives of ads in your ads manager do? So from video views to engagement to a likes campaign to a traffic ad to a conversion ad, all the different things. Those of you that are thinking somewhere on the line you might do Facebook advertising, they take this as a warning. These are the things that you're going to want to learn about, like the objectives of the different types of ads. If you are brand new to Facebook advertising, there's no way you should jump straight into a conversion ad, okay? Your pixel's not warmed up. There's just, it's, if you haven't got a certain amount of likes on your page, it's a massive red flag for Facebook and you'll probably get shut down. So there's a strategy behind putting Facebook ads together. There's certain sort of goalposts that you should be meeting before you go to the end goal of doing a conversion ad, okay? These are the things that you, you need to know. Your metrics, do you know how to look at your metrics, like your numbers in your ads manager? Do you know what they mean? Do you know how to evaluate your cost per click, your click, um, you know, your click through rate and, you know, landing page views and all those kind of things? Do you know what they all mean? If you don't, there's no way you should be advertising because how the hell are you going to evaluate your ad when you don't even know what the numbers mean? That's like going to the toilet and throwing money down and flushing the toilet if you don't know how to evaluate your ads. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. You should always be looking at your numbers. I just then, and I had to cut him short, which is not something you like to do. My mentor, who's earned only over $20 million online, uh, some of you will know him, Fernie Sabias, amazing man. I've just been on a strategy call with him for my business. I still invest in mentorship, guys. I don't know it all. I've still got a lot to learn. And I just basically got slapped around the knuckles for not having more defined numbers regarding my business. Um, and I take everything on board that he said, and I'm still learning. Now, I'm not, I'm not particularly talking about Facebook ads because I know how to evaluate my ads, my business. Everything needs to be evaluated around numbers, not emotion. Some of you will turn off ads because you don't think it's working. 
I have that with students. I'll get on a mentorship call with them and, um, you know, they'll give me all this stuff about, oh, I don't think it's working, so I turned off my ad. Or I don't think my Facebook lives are working. Or I'm not getting any interaction or engagement. So, okay, let's have a look at your page. Let's have a look at your videos, whatever. Let's have a look at your Facebook ads. Pull up your ads manager. Let's have a look at your numbers, all those kind of things. It's like, why the hell would you turn off that ad? Um, or why have you let that ad run for like three weeks when it's crap? Like, look at your numbers. And, you know, my business, because I have so many moving parts to my business, so many different things that I do, it's really important for me to track. And I've just had my, I've just been slapped around the knuckles by Fernie. So point taken, Fernie. I know he's not listening, so it's okay. <laughs> but it's all about the numbers. And Facebook advertising is just one of those things that it's a non-negotiable, guys, absolutely non-negotiable to know your numbers with Facebook advertising. The other thing regarding Facebook advertising is how's your copywriting skills? Hang on a minute, guys. <coughs> I've been talking to Fernie and I had to cut him off to get on this lot. <coughs> <coughs> so a bit of a dry throat. So do you know how to put good ad copy together? Uh, <laughs> do you know the structure and the formula of good ad copy that's going to draw your reader in? What makes your ad stand out versus somebody else that's saying exactly the same thing? I evaluate a lot of ads. I'm doing that straight after this live. I'm going on a webinar um, reviewing a whole lot of students' Facebook ads and most of them say the same thing. There's no point of difference. There's no emotion. There's no individual story. Everybody's just saying the same thing, pointing to the same capture page or the same, you know, blog post or whatever it is. Like you've got to stand out in your Facebook ads. Do you even know how to do that? Do you know what formula to follow regarding ad copy and emotion and you know, having a good headline and those kind of things. So that's something to think about as well. Copywriting. What are your copywriting skills like? Do you even know anything about copywriting? Have you ever done any copywriting training? So that's another element that's going to make a big difference to whether you have successful Facebook ads or not. <clears throat> okay. I'm just looking at my notes here for things that I wanted to highlight to you guys. Um, the other thing. It's really, really important for you guys to know. And I said it in the beginning, uh, Facebook doesn't like our industry, okay? So if you're in the, you know, the online money-making type industry, uh, you know, network marketing, those kind of things, Facebook is not our friend necessarily. So that is another reason why you need to be really, really careful and be really, really um uh, what's the word I'm looking for, up to speed, for lack of better words, and what's going on right now. What words are triggers? There's new words that come up all the time that are triggers. Even say, just to give you an example, if you use the word you, Facebook doesn't like it. If you call people out, you know, do you feel like um, this or do you, like you're calling someone out, just using the word you can be a trigger. There's so many little triggers that can get your Facebook ad, um, you know, not approved or it's not unusual. People think it is, but it's not. You could get an ad approved, but then two days later it gets disapproved. That's because their bots are just working around in the background. Their technology is working around in the background, picking up words and phrases and combinations of words. No, nope, don't like that don't like that, disapproved. So it's not unusual to get something up and approved, but then shortly after it's disapproved. I've shared with you guys before, I had an ad disapproved after a year, a year. So my ad was running for a year. I kept it running because it was really, really successful. Like when you know how to run Facebook ads well, and you can put, you know, just for an example, put $1 in and get $3 back. Why would you not keep running it? Like you evaluate your numbers. Yes, this is working well. And you just keep it running until it gets ad fatigue. Yes, there is something called ad fatigue. So if you leave your ad up for too long, it might get ad fatigue, but you need to evaluate your numbers to know that, you know, those kind of things. So it got disapproved after a year. I knew I wouldn't get it up again. Um, because there was um, words that I used a year ago that I would say to you guys, do not use this word or this word or this word. Like what we got away with a year ago, we can't get away with now. What we get away with six months ago, we can't get away with now. What what 
we got away with three months ago. Sometimes we can't, um, you know, get away with get get away with it now. So I never got the ad back um, up and running. But interestingly, <laughs> I'll share this with you. I was reviewing a student's ad not long ago. I don't think they'll be listening live, but um, it, I won't say their name anyway. I was reviewing a student's ad and I'm reading it and I'm like, that's my exact ad copy. Somebody had taken my exact words, my exact ad and just copied it and made their own ad and they got it approved. <laughs> I don't know how. But, yeah, when I was reviewing the ad, it's like mm, you want to learn to become successful on your own words, not somebody else's words. Um, so, yeah, interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, so things like that. And the other thing I would recommend that you have some thought around, and this is all about knowing your numbers, which I got slapped around the, the head by Fernie about, not about ads but about my business in general, is do you know roughly working backwards what you want to achieve? So if you need one sale into your business per week or per month or whatever, do you know how many leads it takes to get that sale? Then do you know how much money you need to spend per your cost per lead if you're getting leads, how much you have to spend to get that number of leads to get that one sale? Like have you guys even thought about that kind of stuff? How much should you be spending on average on your ads to get that one sale a month? Like, do you know those kind of numbers? Do you know the averages of how many leads it takes to get that one sale? Like, you need to know that kind of stuff. Otherwise, you are just flying blind. And from somebody that's been there, done that, and left ads running because it's just like, oh, I'm sure it'll pick up soon. Or I didn't really know my numbers, so I just left it running anyway. And I had a few ads, a few leads trickling in. So that can give you the impression that it's working if you're getting leads. Well, not if they're not quality leads and they're never going to buy. So it's not necessarily a good thing just if you've got leads coming in. If those leads never buy, how are you going to get to the sale? So if the quality of the lead is really that bad, it doesn't really help you build your business. So there's all sorts of things that if you guys are doing advertising that you need to know, okay? So I'm planting a massive warning here to those of you that are doing Facebook ads and have no idea what you're doing, learn, okay? So if, um, if you need some help with this, I've mentioned this a few times before, I am doing an advanced Facebook advertising boot camp in my coaching community next week. So if you're in the US and Canada, that'll be at night time. I do them 45 minutes straight after my lives here. And we go for an hour or two for three days. So the 10th, 11th, the 12th, US and Canada, 11th, 12th, 13th, if you're in Australia or early hours of, of UK. So 45 minutes after my live here, I go into my coaching community and I will start training on that. Okay, so if you are already in my coaching community, guys, please go and watch the replays of my basic one before you start watching the advanced one that I'm going to do next week, because I'm not going basics. I've already done basics. I've got the replays of my Facebook advertising for beginners boot camp already in the coaching community. Please go and refresh and watch that before you come to the advanced one. Those of you that need this kind of training. You need to be in my coaching community. The link is up above. Okay. It is dirt cheap. It's like it's a you can get in for a dollar for a three-day trial, but then it's $25.99. Now, for, you, for me to give you this training for 25 bucks, my mentor said it's too cheap. I know it's too cheap. And I'm crazy to give you the information that I do for that kind of price tag. But I'm nice. I might not always be nice, but at the moment I'm nice. And all my prices are going up on the 1st of January, by the way. <laughs> I've already warned you on that. But um, manage your expectation. You are not going to become a Facebook uh, expert on three days worth of training. It has taken me months and years to master Facebook ads. Okay, so uh, just because you get that training, I just I need to make you aware that you're not going to become a Facebook um, expert with three days worth of training in a boot camp for 25 bucks, okay? It's just not going to happen. But you will walk away with a hell of a lot more skills um, than what potentially what you have for a very, very dirt cheap price. And the other side of it is if you do get into trouble, that you'll know how to get out of it. 
So I can share with you ways if you get into Facebook jail, what are the avenues that you need to do if you get your ad account shut down? What are the things that you need to do to potentially get your ad account back up and running? Doesn't mean it's foolproof though. Facebook is Facebook. We can't control Facebook. You can try and try and try and try, but it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to get your account back up if you've offended pretty badly. So I can give you strategies because some of you give up too easily when you could get your account back up and running. And some of you just have no idea or you get angry at Facebook. And that's the first way to continue to get shut down. <laughs> so there's a strategy to prevent being shut down. And there's a strategy if you do get shut down, what do you do after the fact? It doesn't mean it's foolproof, though. OK, you understand that? So I'm going to go through things like what are the different um, ad objectives, your metrics, how, what do they mean, uh, what are the industry averages for that, audiences, targeting, copywriting, Facebook jail, like all of those kind of things. But manage your expectations. It's only three days worth of training. It's very, very cheap. You're not going to walk out an expert, but you're going to walk out very highly educated from potentially what you are now, okay? So it's an option for you if you want to do things right, okay? So let's see what comments we've got here. Hello, Laura. How are you? Awesome to see you on. I hope you're doing well. We've got Carrie on. We've got someone else that just needs to give uh, Facebook StreamYard permission for me to see you. Margaret, um, good to see you on. Heather, I'm a little terrified. I need a lot of skills before I talk uh, with him, <laughs> before we talk with Fernie. No, you don't, not if you're new. Fernie's expectations of me is much different from what he would expect of you, Heather. I'm quite advanced in my business. I'm doing a lot of things. And his role as a mentor is to kick my butt. And he's just done that. Okay. So that's what you want. You want somebody to kick your butt. Okay, you need to learn, you need to invest in training, you need to learn the skills to be successful. Otherwise, honestly, you're just pissing money down a toilet and nobody wants that for you. And I want Fernie to kick my butt because I want I want to learn and I want to do better and I want to evaluate my business better and all those kind of things. It's boring. You have to be yourself and you add. You have to be you, not say what everyone else says. It's boring and people will not opt in and your click-through rate's going to be low and all that kind of stuff. So, um, hey, Lua, how are you? Uh, we just copy your stuff. <laughs> you can do that, but the purpose of learning and initially um, you want to model yourself on other people. Like what I do on social media, you might model what I do. You don't want to copy what I do. You want to model yourself on people that are doing well and getting results. Okay, so as you guys know, I rank advanced again. Well, maybe you don't know, but I rank advanced against last week, like what I'm doing and what I've done for the last couple of years and Facebook lives and everything I teach is stuff that I'm doing up myself. Okay, and Facebook ads is one of those things that I've had to spend a lot of time learning. Just because you slap an ad up doesn't mean it's going to work the first time. You need to learn the skill and have patience with yourself to learn the skill and invest in training, guys. So Facebook ads is not something you can really learn by yourself. You need to learn from somebody that's doing it, done it, and had results from it, most definitely. Why doesn't Facebook like our industry? Don't we bring them business? They don't like money making. It's just, um, you know, a lot of you are just producing, just advertising money making opportunities, network marketing. They don't want that kind of business model. On, and it's a shame because it's, it's looking down on our industry again when there's already a lot of um, negativity. But they don't, they want to give value. They don't want to, uh, people to push people to go into a money-making opportunity. So um, it's it's just what it is. I'll never sugarcoat that because it's just getting harder and harder and harder. Doesn't mean you can't do it, though. Just learn, like Kurt Malley said in that interview I did with him, who, if you don't know who he is, he's who ran the training that I just, you know, guys, I travelled to Austin to go to a workshop which cost thousands of dollars in my mentorship to learn advanced strategies, which I'm going to share some of those with you in this training next week. And things that I haven't even discussed here, like retargeting and stuff like that, and how that helps you become, have really successful ads and how do you retarget and how do you turn the cold audience into a warm audience and all those things. I'm going to go through all of that in the training. I paid thousands of dollars and travelled to Austin, Texas, to get some of the knowledge that I'm going to share with you in a $25 boot camp. Like, I, I seriously am mad. But as Kurt said, uh, and I had a really big conversation, and I'll share that with you in the in the boot camp. I had a really in-depth conversation with him about this industry 
and the things that Facebook will just never, n- never like. And some of you guys are doing those strategies, okay? So there'll be some hard pills to swallow uh, for some of you, depending what you're doing with your Facebook ads, with what I'm going to share next week, okay? Uh, ads shouldn't look like ads. There you go. Ads shouldn't look like ads. They should look like something native to the newsfeed that draws somebody in with your story, okay? Be strategic in the copy and pictures or graphics. Now, Laura is learning. Laura has invested in this training and she's learning, so she's more educated to make comments like that. So, so proud of you, Laura. I need to learn more about ad writing. Most people do. Most people do. Uh, Is it just in ads that they don't like using you or Facebook posts? So there's a lot of things that we can get away with in posts, um, but once we put money behind it, then Facebook doesn't like it. So Facebook hates the word in ads, home-based business. So I would never put the words home-based business in an ad. It's It's an instant trigger sort of to get a Facebook ad shut down. But you know, there's there's all sorts of variables that I'll go through in the training that you guys need to be aware of. Somebody who's been advertising on Facebook for months and years and whatever, and they've got heaps of data on their pixel, and they've got an established business page with the appropriate branding and, and all that kind of stuff, then they're not, um, they, they may get away with some words that you just can't because you've got a crappy business page. You've got no branding in your business page, but Facebook evaluates your business page and says, I don't know what they're doing. Yep, definitely a money-making opportunity. Shut them down. I can't stress to you guys that are doing advertising how important branding is, how important your business page is, how you set it up, the content that you have, the value that you bring, doing Facebook Lives, the whole foundation of your business, which is what Wit and Kerry's training is all about above. So get that sorted out before you go straight into advertising. If you've got no brand, if you've got a banner that says live the life of your dreams, work out branding, guys. Those of you in my coaching community, I've got that branding boot camp and all the rest of it to sort you guys out. But um, you've got to see this whole picture. You can't just slap up a business page, get 100 likes and run an ad. Um, Dicey, dodgy, risky. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so just answer that. Any advice on Facebook ad account uh, that deactivated? I can't appeal anymore, get lots of advice, just want your thoughts. That's what I'm going to share in the training. That kind of stuff I'll share in the boot camp because it's not something that I can simply, it's not a simple process. Um, There are strategies around that and that's the kind of thing that I'll share in the training, not here on this live. Things change so fast. Thank you for keeping us up to date. My pleasure. That's what I'm here for. Holy no. (laughs) Um, I shudder to think over the years how far we've travelled and how much we've spent to learn and uh, follow our mentor. Um, yeah, and you, you you do need to be careful, guys, with the advice that you're being given and making sure that uh, the advice that you're being given on Facebook ads is up to date. It's it's now. It's what's happening now. That's why I go to things like Kurt Malley's training to learn advanced strategies on what's going on now. And the goalposts change so often so quickly. Can you build a brand, bring value, then offer the business opportunity? Yes, you can, but there's strategic ways on how you do that. Um, Hence, I'll talk more about that in the the training, okay? Hello, Mr. Boyd, how are you? Golden nuggets. Um, And every mile and every dollar has been uh, worth it, so thank you. Uh, looking forward to that Kurt Malley Insider information. And just remember, guys, I can't share with you everything that I went through. That was three days intensive from day to night, and I spent thousands of dollars not only getting there but getting the mentorship to access that training. So it's just impossible for me to share, and you won't understand it anyway unless you've been doing Facebook ads for about two to three years and you're really advanced and you've already got massive um, awesome metrics on the ads that you're already doing, you won't even understand it. It's not even worth me teaching it. So, um, yeah, just manage your expectations around that. But it is an option if you want to learn, if you want to do things properly. Just realise that if you don't, if you haven't been taught Facebook ads, you need to invest in some training to learn it. Facebook ads is not something you can just win. It's, 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 it's just not bottom line. I know it from experience and I, I see a lot of students, staff where, um, yeah, they just don't know what they're doing. So that's why they're students and they're learning, okay? Does that make sense? 
Okay, so there are options uh, for you to learn. Let's have a look at what Amy said here. You're right, I'm an attraction marketer and I had 160 leads in one month and no one bought in. Definitely not quality leads. And I would, this is, I want to leave you with this thought. There are a lot of you that think you're doing attraction marketing and you're not. Putting up an ad, sending it straight to a capture page to collect an email address, to go into a money-making opportunity, that's not attraction marketing, okay? You guys need to learn the difference. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, Amy. I'm just picking up your comment there that a lot of you think you're doing attraction marketing and you actually, you're not. And the whole ecosystem of your business page, your personal profile, groups if you're using them, stuff like that, that is your foundation that is a non-negotiable before you can move into something like Facebook ads. So get your foundation sorted out. If your foundation's not sorted out, have a look at Wit and Carey's training up above. It's still available for the next few days. You could win a lifetime membership to my coaching community out of that. Who knows? I can't draw the winners until it closes. <laughs> the Black Friday that never ends. Anyways, their promotion, not mine. I just highly recommend it. Okay, so I think that's enough for me. I've talked long enough. Oh, and I've got to get on a webinar. Um, yeah, so I need to go. <laughs> uh, but worth talking about the advantages and disadvantages and stuff like that. And just please keep, be careful. That's what my main concern for you is those of you that know me well know that I dislike two things and that's wasting time and wasting money. And we don't want to do either. So you want to speed up your progress in your business. You do that by investing in training and mentorship. And you don't want to waste money because you don't have the skills to do what you're doing. So, um, you know, you've got to solve that for yourself. If you already had the skills, you'd already be successful. If you don't already have the skills, then it's your responsibility to learn and not ignorantly fly blind on social media and doing ads. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Okay, um, Laurie, after the training from Witten Kerry, I cleaned up my profile again. Awesome, Laura. Really, really good to hear that. The testimonials from that training are amazing and it is that whole ecosystem of personal profile, business page, you know, and the groups and advertising and all, all that kind of stuff, okay? So, yeah, I've spoken for way too long. I've got to get off and I've got to go to a <laughs> uh, review a whole lot of ads on a webinar now. So I will see you guys same time tomorrow. Thank you for being here with me. I truly appreciate you guys. You're absolutely awesome. So I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.